Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to add widgets to another widget dynamically at runtime. So let's get started. What we're going to work on is basically what I have here on the screen. So I have a form with one button that says click to add widget. When I click on this button it just starts to add other widgets underneath. I'm using buttons but this works for any other widget and I'll show you. Uh, and then once you go and click on that set button they start to get deleted. So I'll show you how to add and remove widgets. Uh, so two things, I will show you first how to add and remove widgets and then the second thing is I'll show you how to add a layout that has multiple widgets in it to another layout. That way, you know, sometimes you want to add multiple widgets that are organized in a layout and how to remove the entire layout with all the buttons or all the widgets that it's inside of it. Just to show you the form real quick, uh, here we have the button that we're going to click on and then here I have a frame. Uh, you could also use a layout, but I'm going to use a frame because I want to show you uh, the difference between just adding a widget to another widget and then adding a widget to a layout. Uh, it's, it's slightly different. So I, I put a frame, but this will also work if you only have a layout and you don't have a frame. Like You just drag one of these layouts in here instead of the frame. Uh, th this works for that as well. So I'm doing the frame so that I can show you how you get the layout from the frame where you're going to add all the other widgets. And then I have a spacer in there and the spacer is because I want all my buttons just to be aligned at the top. And so I will be adding these widgets in between the spacer and the very beginning of this frame. Uh, so yeah, it's very simple. So let's go look at the code. So here's the header file and I've added two functions, uh, very simple stuff. One is an on add widget function, which is the function that we're going to call once we click on the add widget button. And then we have the on remove widget, which is the one we're going to click. That's the, the one where we click the buttons underneath and delete the actual button that we click on, right? So we're going to code those two functions. So in the implementation file, just in the constructor, I added the connection where when we click on the add widget button, we call the on add widget function, right? Nothing, nothing crazy, we're ju I'm just setting it up. So we're going to write code for these two functions on how we add a particular widget. So we need to know which layout we're going to insert this widget to, right? So I have a layout and that layout is inside my frame. So I need to go get my frame, right? So I have UI widgets, wi I call it widgets frame, and in there I want the layout, right? I want the layout that is part of this frame. If you are trying to add a widget to a particular layout, then you just, whatever layout that is, you just, you know, you add that my layout, for example, right? And here it's a frame, so I want the layout of the frame. If you're adding a widget to another widget, let's say this is not a frame, this is an actual widget, then you would do the same process. It will be UI, my widget, and then uh, that layout, right? Like you read here. It's the same thing. Frames and queue widgets, they're very similar. Okay, so notice though that this returns a queue layout. And what I want is I want to be able to hold it whatever type of layout that I have. So if I have a vertical layout, then I want to hold a vertical layout pointer. And so in my design, this, if we look at the layout, which if, if I right click on it, I have a, let me click on the actual thing. I have a, well, let me, let me move this because you can't see it. So what I have here is a vertical layout, right? So right here you see the little stacks. So I want a vertical layout. If you have a horizontal layout, then you use the horizontal version, which they're very, very likely the same. So what you're gonna do is gonna do V box layout, right? So V for vertical. If you have a horizontal, then instead of a V, you use an H, right? And this is, no, this is gonna be layout. And of course, this is a regular Q layout. I want a Q vertical box layout. So in here, I'm gonna, Q object pass this to a Q B box layout, right? And then this just goes like this. So this converts that pointer from a simple Q layout to a Q vertical box layout, right? And so after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a button. So I want uh, what to show you that we're actually deleting the button that we click on. I'm gonna put a little different text in it. So instead, I'm gonna say Q string uh, button text and this is going to be uh, button num and then just say a number and then whatever number it's going to have once we insert in the widget and it's going to be the layout that we have gotten up here this layout and then this is going to be how many items are in that layout right so when i add one it's going to be the first the zero one and then the first one and the second one so now let's create our actual button and then we're going to be new q push button 
and I wanted to say the button text and the parent of this button is going to be the frame or whatever widget it's the parent of it. If you're adding this to a layout, this will be the widget where that layout is. So you want to, you know, maybe this is the form itself, the main window, whichever you want to, whichever it makes more sense to be the parent. In my case, it's going to be the frame. So I'm going to say QI, uh, the widgets frame, right? And I want to add this button to my layout. So this layout on the top, I'm going to add widget and I just put button. Now the problem with add widget is that add widget always puts it at the end, but I have a spacer. I don't want it at the end. I want it right in between the spacer and the top. So instead of doing that, I'm going to say insert widget and I'm going to insert it in the zero index. So this is like an array or like a list, right? So in this case, we have one item in my layout and that's the spacer. I want to insert it at the zero index. So I'm going to squeeze it in between the emptiness of my frame and the spacer right of, and then once you have more more widgets then you can actually play where you want to insert that widget and then now what i also want to do is i want to be able to connect when i click on this button i want to remove that particular button that i have added so in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect and what i'm going to connect is this button to its clicked signal and i'm going to connect it to this and this is called dynamic dynamic widgets on a, uh, actually on remove widget right and this will call the bottom function right now to delete it it's actually not too complicated to delete it we want to get that button that we have added and then delete it well it's very simple because the button is the one that is calling uh, the slot right from its click signal so in here I can grab the button very easily by simply casting to a Q push button what the sender right so sender is a function that is part of every slot so when i uh this will return me that q object that emitted the signal which in this case is our button right so i capture the button here and then i just delete my button and that's it this by deleting the button you delete that widget and this again could be any other widget it doesn't have to be a button uh, of course for good practices, you should check for nulls because you never know. So you should check that, make sure that this layout is not null and make sure that this button is not null just to be safe with your code. I'm not going to do it to, to speed this up. So we're going to run this and this, this is just very simple. Once we have this, click to add widget. Here we go, button one, three, four, five. If I click on three, three gets deleted. If I click on four and so on. So I can clear the whole list, start over and start over and delete, right? So nothing crazy. Now, the last thing is to wrap up this video. I'm going to modify this code to show you how we add multiple widgets. So instead of having a simple button here, we can have a button and a checkbox and whatever else you would like to add, right? It's not a huge modification, but it does, well, it, it makes things a little bit more complicated. So let's just go with it. So what I'm going to do is I still want my button. I still want my layout. But instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to create another layout. And in that layout, I'll put my button and any other widget that I want. So instead here, I'm just going to say, and this is going to be, I'm going to create a horizontal layout so that the items are aligned horizontally. So H box layout, and this is going to be new layout. You know, you can think of a better name. And then it's going to be new Q H box layout. And the parent of this is going to be my frame. Again, whatever parent widget you have, that's the parent widget that you want to have. So this is going to be widgets frame, right? And that's it. And then I am going to also, uh, I'm no longer going to insert my button to the original layout. I want to insert it to the new layout, right? So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to say new layout. And this one, I'm going to say add widget. I just want to put the button and then whatever I add is going to be the next one. There's no spacer here. Uh, you can put a spacer, but I don't want to put a spacer. So I don't need to insert it. I can just add it, right? Just to show a variation. And then the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to add a checkbox because why not? So Q checkbox. Oh, that's not it. Q checkbox. And it's going to be checkbox. Again, we can think of better names, but for this tutorial, this is good enough. Uh, check me. Let's just say check me. And then again, the parent is going to be the widgets frame. And I'm going to add this checkbox to my new layout. Uh, and that button checkbox and then I want to add this new layout to the previous layout so I'm gonna say layout insert layout again we use insert because I want to squeeze it in between the spacer and the top and it's gonna be at the very beginning new layout right and so now again when I click delete 
this is gonna be a slightly different because I don't want to just delete the button. I want to delete everything. Let, let's just run it like, like it is and let's see what happens. Uh, and you'll see what I mean, right? So here, <clears throat> here you go, check me, right? But when I hit delete, you know, not nothing. Just, just the button got deleted. But I want to de delete the whole thing, right? If I if I add five, I would like to delete everything, not just the checkmate, right? So let's delete the whole thing. So we gotta modify the code that we have here. Now to do that, we do need the button, but we need also to get the layout. And there is no direct way, at least that I know of. I looked around. There is no direct way for you to get the layout where the widget is inserted. You can get the parent widget. You can get the layout of the parent widget, but in here we have widgets nested within another widget, and is, there's no really an easy way for you to do that. And so uh, one way to do that is we have to manage the basically how we connect or how we know how we relate one button with the whole widget. So I like to use a hash map for that. So I'm going to go to my header, and I'm just going to create here a new variable, and it's going to be a Q hash, and this is going to go from my buttons to whatever I want to map it to. In this case, it's gonna be our layout. So it's gonna be a QH box layout, right? And it's gonna be a uh, button to uh, layout map, right? Oops, just one, we don't need two. And then from here, I'm going to add here to that button layout map, I am going to insert. And it's gonna be, the key is gonna be my button because I have access to my button on the remove function. So in here, I'm going to have button and this is going to map to the layout where this button was added. In this case, it's gonna be a new layout, right? Pretty simple. So over here, for me to get that layout that I need, it, which is a horizontal layout, let's just say layout, this is going to be what? This is going to be the one that I have saved in this map, which I get from this button reference. So I can simply just grab this value and I want button, right? So I want, what, what, what's wrong? Oh, this is a, this is a pointer fellas. Okay. So I want the horizontal box layout uh, that is associated with this button in this map. And then what I do from here is I want to delete everything inside of this layout, every single item in the layout. So to do that, I can just go do a while loop while my layout has items in it. So while the count is not zero, oops, uh, while it's not zero, I'm going to delete every item in the layout. So for that, I can use a queue layout item uh, class, which I can get from the layout. So in here, I would say layout take at zero. So give me the first element inside of this layout, and it comes back as a queue layout item. You can look at the documentation. Queue layout item can represent several things. It can give you different things. It can give you layouts. It can give you widgets. In this case, we know that all these things that we have added are widgets. So we can just delete the widget itself. So from here, I'm going to delete the widget that this uh, queue layout item is representing or that it's managing. There's Again, there's some wording in the documentation about this, but I can delete the widget, which in this case, it would delete the button followed by delete the checkbox. But I also want to delete, just to clear everything, delete the item itself within the layout. And then after that, I want to delete what? I want to delete the actual layout. Okay? I don't need no more layouts. And that's it. Right, so from this, uh, I don't need to delete button because the button has already been deleted uh, in here as because it's one of the uh, items within my layout. And the last thing is I want to remove it from my from my button map. Actually, there is the, we can just use the value take, uh, the function take. So the function take will give you the layout corresponding to that button and at the same time remove it from the map so that it's not occupying just endless space. And that's it. Once we run this, uh, we will have a nice uh, button that adds this layout with buttons in it. And when we click on it, you know, we can delete the one that is corresponding to that. And that's all, right? So you want to add remove widgets. Uh, you can just use the very similar code. Again, this should work for any other widget that you have, even custom made widgets that may have you may have inherited and modified. Uh, slightly. And so also, um, you might be interested in seeing that this this form looks quite interesting, like there's a theme. I have a video for that. If you are interested in changing the theme of your cute widgets application, I'll leave a note. I'll also leave the link in the description. So you can check that video out as well. If you are like, how do I change the color and the font and all these things. So I'll leave that uh, in the description. I'll leave a note as well.
Okay, if you found this video useful, if you learned anything and you don't mind, make sure you leave a like. If you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, check out the channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.